Don't aspire to be equal to anyone, including man, because equality is a construct that implies you need a hand. It says you aren't the same, you expect to be the same, but in that quest, you actually lose. You don't want a participation award, and mediocrity is not what you choose. Expect to be yourself. Your surroundings may push back hard, but if your intentions are for the best, then any haters you disregard. And I mean disregard. Don't give additional energy to them. Keep your heart and mind immersed in things that feed your soul within. And please, don't listen when you're conditioned. No mold is made for you. That round hole, it's such positioned that you will never fit right through. Frustration, hesitation, obligation and hate lie waiting in that trap to swallow you completely because inadequacy does just that. Yes, have that cup of cement. There is no shame in growing stronger. In fact, no, give her diamonds. Do growth and glorious splendor. And know that when you bite down hard, it is going to be tough. But you will squeeze every last defining lesson out of those endeavors that you love. You have a light inside of you and you can let that shine. In fact, turn it up, spread it out and open up your mind to the reality of a future you have if you dare to look. And no one is going to stop you. This is your story. It's your book. What? You're scared? What will others say? What do you think would happen if Superman put his cape away? If Wonder Woman was shy or Missy Elliott wouldn't sing? Do you think Ellen DeGeneres succeeded because she worried about what others would think? Did any of them have control over the thoughts in others' heads? No, they would not let the noise defeat them. They chose the sound of self-belief instead. What? Now you want a knight in shining armor? My friend, you already have all that. Just look inside that heart of yours. How often has it had your back? Yeah, you've put it through its paces, but still every second it beats. It's been bashed and bruised and ridiculed, but still gets you back on your feet. You cannot make a mark or take a start on anything if you hide. You have everything you need right now to walk your path with pride. But you must choose your path and walk it with determination. Decorate it with love and kindness, self-belief and imagination. Choose your dream. Choose to succeed and keep those always in your sights. And remember, nothing outside of you is coming to help you get that right. Fall and get back up. Look back and learn your lesson. Then walk ahead again, carrying your many blessings. And finally, rejoice! You are already in your winner land. It may only be the beginning, but your future is now in your hands.